All right, so to get started with the XYZ DaVinci 3D printing pen, uh, you first have to charge it. I already plugged the charger in. Uh, it, the charger size is actually quite large, uh, the size of a typical computer charger. Um, so it making it a little bit hard to, I guess, use on the go. But since this is still in the early stage of product development, I think maybe in the future there will be battery powered or uh, easier to carry ones. Okay, so once you plug it in, the indicator light will come on and then the manual said just to press any button and it will start flashing. Once the light turns green, that means it is ready uh, heated up and I can put the filaments in. While it's heating up, I could hear a little popping sounds from the nozzle. And then this part is the air vent, so helps the machine keep cool. And while it's heating up, I can also show you guys that uh, you can also open up the back lid and you can see the inside of the product. And this is the tube that the filaments will travel through and get heated up. It's pretty cool. And then I'm not sure what this QR code will lead us to, um, but I think for now I better not mess with the inside. I'll put it back in. All right, the light just turned green. So now let me put the filament in. It's pretty easy and straightforward. There is a hole in the back. You we we'll just insert the filament in and then press on the down button so that it would calm down. And I can feel the machine slowly loading the filaments in. If you watch my fingers, you can see that slowly moving in. All right, I'll give it a few more seconds to see how long this would take to completely load. So while this is loading, um, I can talk to you guys about some of the other 3D printing pens that I have uh, looked at. One is called the Doodler, and I guess that's one of the most popular ones on the market right now. That one I believe has a speed control. I don't think this one has it. Um, I think there is just one speed for the product. Um, but I'll test it out and see how how that works because uh, I can adjust my drawing speed based on How fast the material cools off and how fast. Oh it, All right, so you can see it is coming out now All right, so Can draw some straight line can Extend that Zigzag Right now, I'm still just drawing on one on one surface. I haven't extended this into the space yet, so let me try that next. Um, not sure if you can see in the video, but when I pull off, um, there is a really long and thin filaments that come off. So I guess I have to be a little bit better at doing this so that um, the whatever projects I'm working on doesn't have a lot of rough edges. Um, interesting thing, um, it cools off pretty quickly and I can even hold up the, the product. And after I stopped pressing the low button, it's uh, like this much still came out. So I would just say that uh, before you want to stop a project, uh, make sure you leave a little time in the end because there will be some extra filaments that comes through. All right, so let me try drawing something three-dimensional. Okay. All 
Alright, I'm going to try and draw a cube here. Oops, oh. Oh, goddess. So, as I was trying to move from right to left, um, some of the filaments got stuck on the nozzle, so then the shape got messed up. So, let me try again, and this time pulling from left to right instead. I think because I'm right-handed, that is, that would be an easier way to do this. Okay, so now instead of doing right to left, I'll skip and draw from left to right instead. Okay. Yeah, I'm still not so great at this end part of not letting any of these long, thin filaments to form. I think I'll get better at this once I start working, or maybe it's because of the um, filaments I'm putting in. Maybe there are other ones that would work better. All right, so here goes the three-dimensional part. Ooh. I think I would need to hold the position for a little while for this to form. Okay. And once it does, I could pull out and do the other side. I think I, I, I think I did a horrible job with this one. Um, all right, why don't I just connect the two? Okay, let's try again on this side. All right. Ah, all right. <laughs> um, I guess I have to hold it in the air for a little while so that it will cool off and then I can have the shape I want. Okay. See, I, I think this one came off a lot better than the one on the left. All right, now let me see what it's like drawing in the air. Oops. Oh, I think I have to go pretty slow and steady. Connected. All right, I think I'm slowly getting the hang of it. 